right, it is time for currently reading challenge weekly wrap up for week number two. Hey everyone, it is Shannon and I'm super excited to be here today and to share with you this video. Uh, this video, in this video, I am going to be sharing how week two went for the currently reading challenge, which is where I challenge myself to pick five titles from my jars. I have a jar for fiction and a jar for nonfiction and I pick three fiction titles two nonfiction titles and that makes my TBR for the week. The goal for this round of the challenge is to read 250 pages a week or 50 pages a day and then hopefully by the end of it I will have read 1,000 pages from the titles on my currently reading. So let's see how I did for week two. As always we will start with the least amount of pages to the most amount of pages. Coming in at 68 pages we have Mammals or the Darling... Dorling Kindersley Handbook Mammals. So uh, I actually am really surprised that this is the amount of pages that I read from this book because it is a slower read for sure. Um, but I was, I really am enjoying it. I just, I just like reading book about animals. I just, I wish it had a little more of like what makes, uh, I'm trying to think. I read through, okay, there was a section on that had uh, they had pangolins which I love pangolins um and there was like pangolins and two other things and there was actually okay this was the inspiration to read a lot of pages well one I just you know I'm trying to read pages but I didn't want to be in the middle of the rodents section <laughs> because um well there's a lot of rodents in mammals in, within mammals um actually they say two out of five uh mammals out there are rodents and I don't know if that means like types or like literally if you count it up like all the mammals in the world two out of five would be um rodents or if it's types so I'm not sure about that so but so I know some information I do realize with stuff like this one of the things that I think I need to take from it is what am I curious about specifically and look into that more because I only retain so much. This is literally like a classification like type of thing. So it's just like, you know, information about this and this and this. And I like it, but it, I don't, I, it makes me have more questions, which is a good thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so I made it through the rodents and there actually there are, like I was worried because, you know, mostly it's like mouse, the mice and rats I just you know because they can be an issue with households um and so I just didn't want to have any visuals for that but there's also um I think uh you know uh, hamsters uh guinea pigs are rodents um squirrels uh chipmunks um groundhogs um and uh, you know so those are more outdoor rodents which made me feel better um and there was uh uh, oh, there's a really, oh, I, get, I can't pronounce the one that's the biggest, which is like, it starts with C-A-P-Y. Um, and uh, yeah, so I made it through rodents. So yay, um, which was a large section because there are a lot. And then now I'm on to, I can't pronounce this one either. Um, it's C-A-T-A -A something. Um, and it's uh, like uh, dolphins. So we're into water mammals. So yay, I'm really enjoying this book. Um, and now I have 214 pages left. It is 400 pages overall. So I'm almost at the halfway point. It is just a joy to read. Um, but yeah, it was a little sticky with the, like, it's, yeah, let's just get through all those little more, more, what feel more like pests, you know, and they actually say that with um, some of them. So, and some are completely worldwide. That was actually the first time I had seen that usually, because um, they always say what region, they have a map for the region and my sit was everywhere. <laughs> everywhere and it's like, ah! so anyway so that was mammals <laughs> but I made it to dolphins so I'm feel much more comfortable with dolphins it's so weird anyway um so next up we have at 76 pages we have a Wicked Game by Kate Bateman. This is a historical romance, um, and I got this one for week one as well. And now in week two, I got 76 pages, and I have zero pages left. So yay, another finish. I'm super excited that I finished it. I was actually very happy that I got it two weeks in a row because I had read, like last week I read, I can't remember, but it was a lot. So um, there wasn't that much left. Once I'm under 100 pages, I sort of am like, okay, we're, we're doing this. Um, 
and so uh, that was really nice. And if it didn't get picked, I would have tried to have read from it anyway. Um, I thought it was, I did like how it came together. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of, it's a sort of, it's not hate to love, but they're rivals. And so they like bugging each other a lot. And so I wasn't a huge fan of that. And I do feel like sort of he sort of just like fixes things in like her life a lot and I'm not a huge fan of that either that being said I thought she was actually quite forward especially given for the time um and um that was cool so this is actually the third in the series I read it for the who picked this book book club I you know we're now <laughs> two months later so I'm not doing so well with keeping up with book club but um I did finish it and I did enjoy it and uh, I don't know if I'll go back to the other ones I did like how this one wasn't too too long just under 300 pages for me that's really good um I even with romance I can go closer to 200 pages but then you're you it's usually only contemporaries it's if you get historical or paranormal they're generally 300 so anyway I finished it yay super excited about that zero pages left. Okay, next up at 103 pages, which I'm a little surprised at that because that's a fair amount of pages. Um, 103 pages, The Little Devil of America in Praise of Black Performance by Hanif Abdurakib. This is my other nonfiction pick for the week. This is excellent. Um, I did, it is heavier content um, and the chapters are longer. So for me, I think I ended up reading two chapters one over two days and one all in one day. And it was much better for me to stick with the chapter. Oh no, I think I read three chapters. Maybe I read three chapters. Um, but like really interesting um, perspectives um, and really interesting insights. I just love his writing. Like I really, everything I've read, whether it's his poetry, um, the book on Tribe Called Quest or this, the there's something about it that just um, really, it's a really engaging read in terms of the insight and how the stories are told. It's not stories, but how, this one's more like essays, I would say, but it doesn't feel like essays. But there was one, oh, yeah, the second one, the most recent one I read, it was so good. I don't, I'm not explaining it very well, but um, I am really, really enjoying it. Uh, there was a tougher one, um, so that made me feel like, ooh, ha, huh, because it's a heavier topic. It's a heavier topic, um, and um, but I'm really enjoying it. So I'm really happy that this one got picked. I have 270 pages left. This is one that I'm reading through Overdrive. So the page count I take by the uh, font size I choose. So this one is a, feels a little inflated um, in terms of the pages, but I am being consistent. This is the font size I always read it at. This is the page count I've always read. So it's 111 pages, or sorry, 103 pages, um, but the, the, but I've I've actually written out all of the chapters in this size. It's one of the challenges with Overdrive. Um, I am going to have to convert to Libby. They are switching over. I think they already have. Um, but I'm hoping that I can get through the currently reading challenge without having to do the technical swap to Libby because I have to sideload it to my tablet because it's a Fire tablet and I don't. I just I don't have the energy for that right now. Anyway, so but I am. Uh, where am I going with any of this? So yeah, the page count is probably like if I was reading the physical book, it wouldn't be as many. Pages pages is what I'm trying to say. This is relevant because the next title has the same thing because um, both of them I got from the physical library. I started reading that way and then I switched to Overdrive. This one I have been counting in the Overdrive pages so that's fine. So I have 103, I read 103 pages. I have 270 left, which is still a fair amount. So this one's going to take a while I think to get through but I read way more than I expected. And then I read 111 pages from Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll um, and I have 430 34 pages left. This is one where I did have it from the physical page count. When I got this out on digitally and I looked at the numbers and I looked at the pages and I'm like, this just doesn't make any sense. So I had to reformat my little, I just keep a little um, index card with the chapters and pages and this is a lot of chapters so that took a fair amount of time anyway but I had to I think I can't remember what I said last week in terms of how many pages I had left for this one but now I have almost as many pages left as I had last week even though I've read over 100 pages but at the beginning of the week 
I switched and I was like, okay, these numbers aren't lining up. And I re reformatted where I was. And it took me a little while. I ended up reading a little bit more than that because I had to, I was in the, I hadn't read much, but I had to sort of skim through to figure out where I was and if I needed to reread it. I forgot to say what this is about. This is a YA urban fantasy romancy, paranormal romancy title. Um, and um, yeah, and so yeah, I really actually quite enjoyed it. There was some stuff that was a little initially, I was a little like, mm, I'm not sure about this because it has some historical sort of elements and uh, in terms of the American Civil War. And then I was just kind of like, I'm just like, I'm just waiting for someone to say something to let me know that I feel okay about continuing to read this. And they did in terms of the perspective of what was going on there. And I'm like, okay, they finally said something. And now I know that I can keep reading this um, in terms of um, like who they supported in terms of the sides. I <laughs> just like, I just wouldn't feel comfortable if it was a different perspective. So finally got that and then I felt okay. So this was a bit bumpy. Um, and I did, as I said, I did have to skim a little bit to sort of figure out where I was. Once I remembered the moment that I left off, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm fine here. This is actually also a reread. I read this back, I think in 2010. And thank you so much to Di from Diocese 19, um, the, who mentioned um, that, that you also had read both this and the second one back in the day. And I didn't realize, because what why I'm reading this is because I want to read the second book. It's one of the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR. And I didn't quite realize that I must have put that second book on my TBR when it was released. So when I read this back in 2010 or whatever, it was the only book that was out. So it was a series I was actually caught up with and then never continued. For some reason, I thought it was a series like that just feels different than a series where I just read the first book of and then never um, and then never picked up book two. I couldn't pick up book two. It hadn't come out yet. And when it did, I was like, oh, I want to read that. And that's where I left off, which is very different than just reading the first book. And I think this is I can't remember. It's four or five or six um, uh, books long. So thank you so much, Di, for mentioning that. And I think it's so funny how we often have read the same time at the same time but before we knew each other it's just such a weird um coincidence so anyway but um i really i actually really enjoying this one uh this one as opposed to a lot of other paranormal romance urban fantasies from that time it's actually from a guy's perspective um so we're following him as um he uh and and then there's a new girl in town when new girl in town is a very normal uh, writing device, um, but it's not from her perspective, it's from his perspective, and people are very unaccepting of her. She is strange, she is comes from a strange family, people talk a lot about her, not even behind her back, you know, and that kind of stuff, but he has a sort of connection with her. So I'm enjoying it. I don't love that dynamic, but I am at the point where I think it becomes more about like them trying to figure out sort of a mystery-ish element um, and has some paranormal feels to it. And I, I remember really enjoying it. I actually quite enjoyed the movie as well um, when it came out. Um, I was a little surprised I didn't continue it. I don't know. I don't remember. what I, I, I know I was following that back in the day. Um, it is on Netflix, at least here in Canada as well. So that's some incentive to 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 finish reading so I can watch it. I, I bought the movie because I liked it. So <laughs> anyway, so 111 pages read and 434 to go. As I said, the numbers are a little different than I expected, but they will be for this one consistent going forward. So I'm happy about that. Um, and um, yeah, so and then there is oh, there's one more title with no pages, no pages, but staying on the urban fantasy front of things. And that was I also picked True Blood season two, I had three uh, episodes to finish the season and I did finish it. So no pages read, but I did finish all three episodes. So I've now Finished season two of True Blood. Uh, this is an urban fantasy following Sookie Stackhouse. Um, and there's, uh, you know, it's a paranormal, like, mystery type series. Um, and I do, I, my initial, I am glad that it was a little tough to fit in the episodes. Even though there was only three, it was a little tough. It's a rewatch for me. And I'm trying to figure out, I thought I had only watched to the end of season three. But there was something in here that made me think I had seen season four or that I knew something about season five. So that was just, and it was very specific. I'm like, I, that I, and I'm like, whoa. So, and this one tends to have um, 
a type of style that I really like in terms of there is uh, a, a story for the season, but then there also tends to be a longer term story as well um, in terms of, and it is, the story of the season is, I don't like, I, I don't know if it would be considered mystery. I think maybe the books are a bit more mystery and the, and the, the TV shows a bit more thriller. I don't know if in the TV show you literally have enough clues to figure anything out. Um, but those are neither of those are, are, are my favorite genres, so I'm not terribly worried about them. I more enjoy the urban fantasy elements, um, and uh, you know, there's some uh, really great characters in the show. And initially, I was going to go back and forth in between reading the books and watching the show. I like to read the book after I've seen the season it's about, so the, for this one, season two is about Living Dead in Dallas, and I did buy that from the library. But now that I've watched the season, I feel like maybe it might be smart to just keep watching the show and watch the whole thing and then go back to the books and read them. Because I do enjoy the show more than the books and I didn't enjoy it either as much this time around. So I feel like the show is less of a time investment. I don't know if that's true. The books are about 300 pages I don't know. It probably isn't, but it's just, there's something so over the top about it. And it's been so long now. Like the, I, I can't believe it. I think it came out in like 2008. I think there was a lot of like vampire diaries in this and, and twilight was all that sort of like 2008. And like, that's like 13 years ago. And I know this was like, I don't know, eight seasons, six seasons, something like that. So it finished more like five to six years ago, but I'm like, I kind of just want to finish it. And I do have some theories and I think they're mostly based on things that I've seen in future seasons. So I, I, I am pretty engaged, but I mean, it took me a year to watch one season. I started more than a year. I started watching it last April. So I'm like, I don't, I don't understand why it's taking me so long, but I did finish it. I'm glad that I finished it. I don't know what I'm doing do, moving forward. That's okay because, you know, this project is about, you know, getting pages read. So this was a total bonus, but because I considered it, um, I needed, it was a prereq to read book two. So that's why it was on my reading list um, or on my currently reading list. And so I am happy that I did that. And then, um, so yeah, so if you do the math, 68 pages for mammals, 76 pages for A Wicked Game, 103 pages for Little Devil in America, and 111 pages for Beautiful Creatures. When you add that all up, it is... 358 pages read this week, so that's well surpasses my 250 page goal. I'm very happy about that. It really didn't feel like I was doing well, to be honest. Many of the days I didn't, I got to 50 pages or only, or just under 50 pages within, I give myself, I, I sort of set aside an hour to work on my currently reading titles, and it was really close there, especially because, like, the titles, like, Mammals is really, um, uh, it takes, uh, it's a slow read, um, and also, I finished the Sunday, too. <laughs> So I didn't have this. This was my my bulk read last last week. It's I made up all of my pages with reading from this, but I had to find out what happened. It left on a big I I'm sure all of the romance readers know that sort of at like sort of like 85-90%, usually there's just like something to just sort of draw you in that you have to finish it, and that happened. So I I you know, so I was left with mammals, little devil in America, and beautiful creatures. But I think I really benefited from the fact that I have a large your font size for Beautiful Creatures and Little Devil in America, and that ended up making me have the page count. If I was reading them in print, I don't think I would have made it. But I'm being consistent with where I'm pulling the numbers, so I'm okay with that. So if we have a look at how the week went, um, I actually started with 81 pages, 90 pages. That was finishing Beautiful Creatures, and then 52, 52, 83. So it was a, it was pretty, you know, up and down. Um, but um. So a couple 52 pages, and then I have my TV noted on to the days right at the, right on the last day. I try and finish by the end of day five. I didn't read much from other works, um, but I did, well, I did actually end up with another 500 pages, which is the same as last week. A lot of that was visual works, 
still reading Hard Boiled Cop and Dolphin, the manga for that, and I'm on volume five, which is the last volume. But my big read for the week, actually my big additional read for the week was not big, but important. Um, I have a buddy read with Izzy and Ken Kelly, and we are reading The Flight of the Phoenix by R.L. Lefevers, Lefevers, and uh, it's a kid's illustrated novel. It's a very fast read. Um, I am, you know, I, um, I think I'm about 30% of the way through. It's really, really cute, and so I'm quite enjoying it, so I'm happy about that. Um, unfortunately, my currently reading went from 26 to 28, because I started that, and I also started a Nancy Drew type. I really didn't mean to, but I just needed something a little bit lighter. So I started reading Nancy Drew, The Clue of the Leaning Chimney. And I just needed something lighter at night. And and especially because Beautiful Creatures and Little Devil in America have really long chapters. There were some days where I just didn't want to... Um, I forgot to show my hourly. Um, there were some days that I just, I didn't want to start a chapter if I didn't think I was going to be able to finish it. So for my hour, my one hour of reading, 60 minutes, 55 pages, 53 minutes, 40 something pages, 46 pages, 60 minutes, 52 pages, 60 minutes, 57 pages. And there was one day I did not get my hours worth of reading in and I was just... I was really, it was just a very full day and lots of things are going on and I had commitments and so I, I didn't get it in, but I was able to get my pages in at the end of the day. I don't like to leave them to the end of the day. That's something that I learned, I think, in the first round of this, um, but I was able to manage it and I think it was, honestly, there was just happened to be a really long chapter of Beautiful Creatures that really helped me out. So yeah, so now it's kind of weird because like, especially Beautiful Creatures and Little Devil in America, I'm feeling pretty like... um um, not committed to, but I'm feeling really invested in, so I really want to keep reading them, but I have no idea what I'm reading. You'll know what I'm reading, um, because I post, I record this first, but I post it second, so whatever I'm reading this week is already up. I'll put a link in the, up in the cards and in the description box below for, below for my week three picks. I wonder what they will be, um, but I have gotten two finishes this week with True Blood and with um, Wicked Game. So fiction has less options, um, but overall it has lots of options. So will I get the same titles? Will I get new titles? I don't know. We will see. But that's how week two went. It, it, it ended up better than I, it felt during the week, which is a little surprising. Um, but um, yeah, 358 pages read I'm and two finishes. I'm very happy with that. Um, but it was a bit of a tough week. It was a bit of a tough week. Um, we'll see how week three goes. I hope so. I hope I get some good picks. You know, I, 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 well, I would say most of the books that I'm currently reading, I, you know, I want to read them. I've just started them and I haven't finished them. <laughs> So we'll see what next week will bring. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back soon with another video. Thanks so much. Bye.